Indie Girl Souls, the RC Live, Namaste brothers and sisters, welcome to my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, how are you all doing today, hi all, hi, Namaste, now, I'm just going to invoke and call forth the Archangel Gabriel, please help me to communicate my soul into logical words, and I'm just going to also call forth the Archangel Michael to please shield me and help encourage me. And I'm also going to call forth the Archangel Metatron, please inspire me and motivate me. I would also call forth my higher self to channel through me. And I would also call forth my guides, Nightwolf and Sarah, and my guardian angel, Dominico, to please shield me and guide me, protect me throughout this movie and the rest of this day. You have my full permission and my full gratitude in love and always in love and light and so it is hello brothers and sisters welcome to indigo soul star scene how are you all doing wow I, i'm not you know i haven't really made this um this video i haven't really had like a, a serious intent for this video um sometimes i don't actually pre-plan anything well most of the time i don't pre-plan my videos i just kind of get some inspiration and then from that inspiration I tend to channel some stuff um, so I, I'm just gonna just gonna talk and uh, you know just allow whatever comes to flow through me now actually speaking of this I've been talking today with a friend about crystals and um, it's, she's a crystal master this lady the couple are crystal master Reiki healers you may know them Bev and Clive from Facebook Heaven's Healing Room. Check it out if um, if you uh, if you're drawn to it. They do uh, Reiki healing every Sunday. Um, some Sundays they give out three healing, and they're beautiful beings and they're angelic and crystal masters. And I think that you Sui as well. They do different forms. However, they they basically they post daily. They've just started posting a picture of crystals and explain all about its meaning all kinds of information and crystals absolutely fascinate me now i have to just say now that there is nothing on this planet that doesn't come out of mother earth that doesn't fascinate me i absolutely love mother earth she is so beautifully incredible and she is such a wonderful being and so is all of nature all of the animals within the plants the flowers every being that comes out of mother earth and it is a part of mother earth just fascinates me they're so pure and these beautiful babies i'm holding in my hand these crystals these uh, they blow my mind and soul now i wanted to share with you all because as I said, we was talking about the power of crystals and how how beautiful, you know, they come out of Earth, obviously. They're literally gems out of Mother Earth. Now, what I imagine a crystal to be like is like Mother Earth's blood, in a way, in a kind of way, in a metaphysical way, because, a metaphoric way, sorry, because you think about a tree, you scrape it, right, and it amber will come off not scrape it to hurt it but to, uh, trees form the amber on the outside which is blood right it's tree resin blood i suppose it's similar to fossils similar probably process however so i see crystals like that like they are uh, kind of blood of mother earth in a way and um, just just want to show you some of these crystals and um, just, you know, tell you a little bit about crystals from my perspective. Now, I am an indigo soul, as I say predominantly at the beginning of all my videos. Um, as I've explained before, I only say this to relate to my soul group. So you guys out there can, you know, relate to certain characteristics, etc, etc. It's more of a guidance to help you then rather me, uh, an affirmation for me, because I've known who I am since childhood. Um, but, so yes, I am predominantly indigo. However, I'm also part crystalline soul and I'm part rainbow soul as well. Now, as I have this spectrum, um, I'm a star seed that's a mix of three different types of star seeds, um, which heightens my abilities and heightens all kinds of things within me you know um 
it's yeah it's tripled basically with me my everything is tripled because I, I I'm three different varieties mixed into one bean um, if that makes any sense to you so for me being part crystalline I love 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 crystals more than life itself and I'm well not necessarily but it's a saying um, and I know so many of you out there love crystals as well, so I thought, let's start doing some little shows on crystals here and there, you know? So, brothers and sisters, recently a client blessed me with this beautiful Aura Light 23, which I really love. It's so beautiful. And this is for DNA clearing, cellular activation, and... Other, uh, all along them lines basically and I remember when I first held this uh, week or about a week ago I received it maybe less I was actually started crying so maybe it's some powerful kind of releasing tool as well so this is your Aura Light 23 thank you Emma that, I'm so grateful for that beautiful now this this is one of my favorite this is a rose quartz now rose quartz is actually connected to the heart chakra so since I was young I have when I had my first rose quartz not this one a different one um, what I used to do is I used to sleep with the rose quartz either in my on here on my heart well actually no this was before I knew about chakra so I probably slept with it under my pillow or on my bed However, I used to lay down with this because I had such pain in my heart when, you know, I, only up until recently where I've been working on releasing it all purposely. But I had so much pain in my heart as a child, not only as an empathic child, highly empathic child, but also as a being that was seriously overweight and seriously bullied, abused, beaten and mentally, you know, oh. Uh, anyway. This baby here healed my heart. I'm not even joking. The, the rose quartz is so divinely powerful and connected to love. The rose quartz and the amethyst are my two favorite crystals. So this is the rose quartz. Okay, now this is my uh, amethyst. This is the first piece of amethyst I think I had in this kind of cl cluster wise. Now an amethyst is fantastic. Amethyst is one of my favourite because they connect you. They work primarily on the crown chakra. It's indigo, so it's the colour of my soul group and my predominant soul group. And this works on intuit intuitiveness, um, it works on intuition, uh, heightening all these kind of abilities, opening, healing, crown chakra, balancing, all that kind of stuff, psychic awareness all of that beautiful um creativity i'm not sure uh all of that stuff it comes out of this beautiful one here and this is the same crystal just a different type of it now my last client matt brought me this and i'm very grateful matt thank you for this i love this this is a cluster of amethyst a beautiful I got this recently i was so grateful to him it was a gift for he says i teach him a lot i don't know i just you know, I don't know. <laughs> and this, this is a beautiful agate py uh, pyramid. Again, I'm not 100% what agate does. However, this is a beautiful pyramid. And I brought this from a lovely lady called Helen on Soul Tribe. She's got a little beautiful shop and um, she sells pieces of, uh, pieces of crystals and other things. And this I got from her and I love it. I um, Because a pyramid... Um, I think a pyramid uh, either multiplies or directs or something energy. So when you meditate with it, it uh, that's it amplifies. Thank you. It amplifies and directs. With the apex, that's the direction to go up. So, brothers and sisters, these are some of the beautiful crystals. I'll just grab a couple more to show you while we're on the roll. Uh, which other ones do I have with me? Oh... Um, okay, brothers and sisters, I also have this one in here. Now this, I can't remember if it's selenite. I think it's selenite the way it is. Or is it quartz? I think, it, I think it's selenite. Now this was brought for me by the lovely Clive and Bev from Heaven's Healing Room for my birthday. 
It's very, very awesome, guys. What this does, you go like this with an intention and it brushes your aura out. It brushes your aura body, your energy bodies down. Yeah? So you can cleanse your clients with this or yourself. But obviously, always, always wash it out afterwards. So, brothers and sisters, there are um, some of my crystals. I have a lot, lot more, but they're in the bedroom, the other ones, and I don't want to keep uh, running in and out, in and out. Um, however, I will just grab the book, because I'd like to explain, or I'll, no, what I'll do, I'll get it on the internet. I would like to explain what one of these does for you. Um, oh, that's a great idea. I just had a fantastic idea. What I could do, I could start creating videos like like Aunt, um, Bev and Clive are doing with their crystals when they write up a description about them. I could start creating videos per each one with per crystal and do one crystal. Would you guys like that? If you'd like that, I'm happy to help you learn about them and teach myself about them in the meantime because I use them every day and I would love to have more knowledge about them, especially as I want to do crystal healing one day. Yeah, would you like that guys? If you would, let maybe put a comment underneath and if you'd enjoy that, I'll start doing uh, separate shows with individual crystals. Um, so we can learn together about them. And um, I would advise you to meditate with crystals. I always meditate with crystals. I keep them in every room pretty much around me. Some in my bathroom, bedroom, in here. Uh, when I sleep, I have them either in my bed or I have them on chakras. No, I have them in my bed. And when I lay in the evening for solitude, I have them on chakras. Not all chakras, just individual ones. Now, I'm going to discuss for you the amethyst because this this is the one at the moment I'm working the most with because it's, I don't know, I just love the amethyst. Now, amethyst, this, this is to do with psychic abilities, sobriety, wow. <laughs> amethyst is a meditative and calming stone which works in the emotional, spiritual and physical planes to promote calm, balance and peace. Emotionally, amethyst is used in crystal healing to help heal personal losses of grief, bringing one gently past. Um, now it says, Amethyst has healing powers to help with physical ailments, emotional issues, energy healing, chakra balancing. Amethyst crystal therapies are associated with the physical ailments of the nervous system, the curing of nightmares and insomnia, and balancing and activating of the crown chakra. Beautiful. Now the word amethyst comes from the Greek word amethysto, meaning to be sober and not drunk. Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. Oh wow. So, okay, now, I'm just reading the information, guys. Ah, most amethyst is a rich violet, the colour of change, wow. A cluster sleeps next to my computer to cleanse the energy coming from it and going from it. Whenever you need support as you tackle the energy of change, carry amethyst with you or put it in your pillow in your bed. Amethyst has always been considered a precious stone. It is known as the stone of spirit. Wow. Mirroring the colour of the crown chakra our doorway to the divine. Amethyst is used in mala beads as a meditation tool in Tibet and is said to calm, protect and cleanse the spirit. Its colour strengthens the muscles of the eyes. Gazing into amethyst will exercise your eye muscles. I tried this when I was having eye problems. I got lazy though and I haven't worked with it since, but at the time it did work. 
The name comes from the Greek word amphesto, meaning not to be drunk. There are two stories. Here is the least violent. The late reveals the love of... Okay, yeah, we won't go through that. Basically, it says there's a nymph called Amethyst and there was a, a drunken god, a Festo, Greek god, mythological, who either named the crystal Amethyst or turned the nymph into an Amethyst, one or the other. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Ah, and it says here, those who are born on the violet ray are here to be of service. Very true. Now, I don't know if violet and indigo are meant to be this, uh, the same colour because I've read that indigo ray, those on the violet ray and the indigo ray, are here to be of service. It's a protective stone. It transforms energy, so anything coming at you will get kicked out of your space. Wow. Uh, you wake up feeling more relaxed and in tune with your intuition if you have it sleep with it. It's a great spiritual teacher who will help you find and access your truth, connect to your higher self. And then show, somehow dissipates the fear that can go with sharing wisdom. Place in the corners of your home and office to protect your energy from negativity. Add to a crystal grid when you're ready for change. You need some help to move through change. I didn't know that. Pop a piece under your pillow to cleanse your energy overnight. Stimulate intuition and encourage healing. I didn't know that. Improve your eyesight by gently gazing into it. Make a healing gem elixir. Leave the water and sit. Ah, oh, so what he's saying is, uh, I think he puts a cup of am a cup of water on top of the amethyst and that it absorbs it in. Wear amethyst jewelry to take advantage of its cleansing spiritual healing powers. Place jewelry onto the amethyst cluster for cleansing and energizing. I do this with these and other crystals. I put other crystals on top of here to cleanse and energize it. And that's it, brothers and sisters. Of course, it does much, 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 much more than that. However, that is its main, uh, for some of its main purposes. So, brothers and sisters, I'm going to head off now. I have to pop out because um, we're approaching 2 o'clock and I've got housework to catch up on today. However, it's a great idea that's just been sparked to my imagination. Thank you to the inspiration of Heaven's Healing Room for the beautiful little clips you do on crystals daily. You've inspired me to do some videos on crystals, different crystals, like I do with the angels. Sometimes I make videos on archangels individually. So I'll do that now with crystals as well. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Lots of love. Thank you for joining my YouTube channel, my Facebook page. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like and share if you want. Um, if you'd like to reach me for an angel or fairy tarot reading, um, I charge £15 for six cards and I charge £10 for three cards. And I can contact either realm. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the price, it, it was actually 20 for six cards originally, but um, I've dropped it down by £5 to make it more accessible to more beings because, you know, obviously I, I, my business is my, is my food on the table and my bills, but at the same time I want to be accessible to all of you lovely beings. And if there is anyone who can ever pay the, the original amount, then I'm very humbled. But just know that the opportunity is there for you all who feel like you could be do best with some guidance, okay? I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you for joining me. I just want to show you quickly. These are my, this is my crystal jewellery. I found this beautiful tree bean and I carried it home with it.